glasses. We're gonna talk about sunglasses today. We're gonna talk about how important it is, why it matters, and what kind of sunglasses you wanna look for. Now there's many different people that make sunglasses. Many different companies. Y'all know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know who I wear because I wear their t-shirts all the time. And I always have a pair of them on my head. But um, you can pretty much wear whatever sunglasses you can afford. I like these guys. Those are the guys I wear. Costa Del Mar. But it doesn't really matter if you're gonna get a pair of sunglasses if you're not gonna get a good pair of polarized sunglasses then it doesn't really matter this pair of sunglasses that I wear cost about $300 if you can't afford a $300 pair of sunglasses I understand you want to make sure though if you're going to put sunglasses on when you're out on the ocean you're gonna want to make sure that they're very good polarized glasses why the number one reason is when you, and I know most of you already know this, but these are things I've learned over the years. When you put on a pair of sunglasses, your eye lens opens up and it dilates because it can't see. And if you don't have a very good pair of polarized sunglasses, when you look out into the water with that glare and your eyes are dilated like they are when you're wearing sunglasses, you're going to burn your retinas you are going to cause damage. You are going to affect your ability to see when you're looking. And gang, you do have to have a pair of polarized sunglasses. You have to make sure they're polarized. Just because they say polarized, that doesn't mean they're polarized. You wanna make sure that you have a good pair of polarized sunglasses and you wanna make, sorry, and you want my deck out, I was looking for something and you want to make sure that they are UV approved, that they're going to not cause damage to your retina when you're out here fishing because it's different than when you're driving around in your car or you're walking around on the streets because of the fact that the sun is much more intense when you're out here on the water. With the reflection coming off of the water bouncing into your eyes, it is absolutely imperative that you have a very good pair of polarized sunglasses. What I tell most of my clients, get that really good pair and leave them in the case on your boat. Do not waste that really good pair cruising around in your car, or going home, or doing all the things that you do on a daily basis because first of all, you'll leave them somewhere. Second of all, You'll drop them, scratch them, break them, and you don't want to do that when you spend $300 on a pair of sunglasses. You want to invest in a very good pair of sunglasses. I like to wear Costas. You can go with whatever brand you prefer. This is what I prefer, and if you look at most of the fishing shows, those are the glasses you're going to see most of the guys that fish for a living are wearing Costas, okay? You want to make sure though that you have a very, very good pair of sunglasses on your boat. Stash them somewhere so that you can always access them, so that you can get them and they're your glasses. But don't use them in your car, don't use them cruising around town. You have another pair of glasses for that, maybe a lower end pair of Costas. But keep the really good Costas and I would, and I always prefer a glass lens over a plastic lens. The glass seems to be sturdier. It seems to give me a better look into the water with the reflection of the water. Plastic lenses work, don't get me wrong. I'm only talking about what I prefer. And that's what this show is always about. I'm just telling you how I do it and what I prefer. And also I prefer the gray colored lens. You, whatever color lens you prefer, that's your own lens. I prefer the gray. The gray works for me. The gray works awesome for me. That's my eyes have adjusted to the gray. I put on the yellow ones or the blue ones and that if my eyes start to hurt, I start to get a headache because my eyes have become accustomed to the gray lenses. I've been wearing Costas for about 15 years 
my eyes absolutely love the gray lenses so that's what I wear you wear whatever you think is what is necessary the gray lenses work perfect for me I don't miss very much I don't if someone says they see something in the water I I've already seen it because the gray lenses work very well plus the polarization works very very well but I'm telling you gang you want to make sure that you have a very very good pair of polarized glasses on your boat okay that being said it will absolutely change your outcome of the day if you're fishing offshore you are going to see things that no one else is seeing with a good pair of costas or a, a good pair of polarized sunglasses it will absolutely change what you see out on the water gang there are days where i go hey gang can you see those fish they're they're chipping we call it chipping in the water are are shining where they're just barely turning a little tiny bit and you see the like that they're twitching like that we call it chipping and you can just barely catch that shine of their of their underbelly when they are chipping on the water like that if you don't have a really good pair of sunglasses you will miss that whole school and that school could be the difference between a great day of fishing and a shitty day of fishing you've got to pay attention you got to watch all the time i'm always looking i could be having a full-blown conversation with someone up here in the bridge but the whole time i'm looking in the water while i'm talking i'm constantly looking and I'm looking for anything that is not water. That's why it's imperative to have a really, really, really good pair of polarized sunglasses. It will absolutely change what you're seeing out there. Many, many times we'll pull up to a kelp patty and I'll be able to see the fish before anybody on the boat sees them because of my sunglasses. I already see the fish when we're a quarter mile away I can see them chipping underneath the kelp paddy moving around chipping if I don't get them on the sonar because they're really high a lot of times that Dorado will be setting up high on that kelp when there's not a lot of them and you won't see it on the sonar when it sweeps across the paddy but you'll see them with your bitches polarized sunglasses also gang when you're working the deck if you're the deckhand or if you're one of the guys on the boat that are working on the deck you want to make sure that you have a really, really good lanyard on your sunglasses. You want to make sure that your $300 pair of sunglasses don't end up in 3,000 feet of water. Gang, every single person that has ever lost a pair of sunglasses over the side tells me, Dave, I don't use the lanyard because I never lose my glasses. Ever. And then they lose their glasses and they're damn I wish I had a lanyard on there yes there's no reason to not have one you spent three hundred dollars on your pair of sunglasses have this little rubber strap on there a lot of companies make them Costa makes their own rubber straps you don't feel it on the sides of your head when you put them on but it absolutely is imperative that you have this this straps gonna change everything when Here's how 90% of the people that I've seen lose their sun crew members on the boat have lost their sunglasses over the side because of why? Because the, one of your buddies fighting a fish comes flying by at the last second and hits them with the fishing pole off your head and into the water they go and they're gone forever. You want to make sure you have some type of lanyard on your glasses. You spent 300 bucks on them, gang, or 280 or whatever or whatever you spend on them that's money you can't afford to lose i can't afford to lose it and i know you can't have a lanyard on your glasses i know oh they don't look cool who cares what they look like you're out killing fish it's not about looking cool it's about killing i wear the same t-shirt and the same shorts every day but i always i never take these glasses out of the case without putting the lanyard on first Every time they come out of the case, the lanyard goes on. Once it goes on, they go in the case with the lanyard on. I don't take them. I put them right into the case with the lanyard. They fit right in. It's perfect. Lanyard's on there. Seal them up. It works perfect. There's no reason to ever take the lanyard off, gang. They work great right in the case. I'm telling you, 
If you don't put the lanyard on, you will lose your glasses over the side. Just like I tell all my deckhands, don't set anything on the rail. If you set it on the rail, it's going in the water. They say, oh, I never lose anything over the side, right as it falls into the ocean. If you don't set it on the rail, it won't go over the side. If you don't take your glasses, if you don't take your lanyard off, you can't lose them. It's impossible for them to knock these off your head and for them to sink to the bottom when the lanyard's around your neck. I know this is common sense stuff that we're talking about, gang, but I've been doing this for 45 years every single day. It's the only job I've ever had is taking people fishing on the ocean. It's how I feed my family. It's how I buy my clothes. It's how we buy our cars. It's how we pay our rent is fishing. So I'm just trying to help you all to have more fun when you're out on the water. That's all I'm trying to do.